children how are you it's so good to be back again hello auntie Essie. it's so good to see you hello uncle Emmanuel it's nice to see you how are you I'm fine thank you and you I'm fine good happy new year to everyone at home hope you're all keeping safe I welcome you to our Winners Kids online service. Today is the last Sunday in the month of January 2021, which also doubles as our end of month Thanksgiving service. But before we continue, let's say our prayers. So put your hands together, let's sing the song, and then we pray. Okay, you know we have a new song everyone, so can we sing? Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master key. Uncle, please lead us in prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. We magnify your name. We thank you, Lord, for bringing us to today's service. Lord, we ask that you impact us, impact your children as they watch. Let this service be a blessing to your children all over the world as they are watching. Holy Ghost, take control. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for bringing everyone together. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Today shall be a glorious day. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now, children, it's praise time. Be on your feet. Shake your body. Get ready. I can hear the music coming. Are we ready to dance? Yes. Let's I'm give ready. God all the praise. You are God. You are not just big. You are not just large.
That's right. I oh. think some of us are still learning, mm -hmm. but we're going to say it together. Okay. So, join us as we say it together. I will be the responder. I will be the caller. Yeah. You will be the responder. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so, I will be the caller, mm -hmm. and you will be the responder. Okay, okay. I'm ready. Okay. Welcome to 2021. Your year of supernatural turnaround. I receive and believe this prophetic verdict. <laughs> then expect turnaround to become your new identity from henceforth. The same shall be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Should we say that one more time? Yes, that was awesome. We'll take it cool now. Yes, okay. okay. So children, are we ready? Yes. Are we ready? I am ready. So auntie, I will be the caller and you will be the responder. Okay, uncle. Okay. So let's go. Welcome to 2021, your year of supernatural turnaround. I receive and believe this prophetic verdict. Then expect turn around to become your new identity from henceforth. The same shall be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Wow, that was really good. Thank Did you, you enjoy that, children? Yes, I good. love it. So, Uncle, before we break into our various classes, let's sing Happy Birthday song to all those who celebrated their birthdays this month of January 2021. Oh, yes, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. So, join me, everyone around. Let's wish all the children happy birthday and sing happy birthday to them.
to you all. I pray that God Almighty will continue to make you grow in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, children. Hallelujah. Wow. Today is our revision Sunday in which we shall be revising all you have learned so far in this month of January. Are we ready for that? So let's begin our teaching and I believe that you are ready. Don't forget our church bag. You remember? Do we have our school bag? So what do we need? You need your Bible. You need your notebook. You need your pen with you to take down some notes from what you've been learning today for you not to forget. Then I would like you to pay good attention. Amen. First, let's recite the theme of the month of January 20. 21. Are you ready? It says, prayer and fasting empowers fulfillment of prophecies. And that was taken from where? 1 Timothy 1 verse 18. Can we take that again? We said the theme of the month of January 2021 is prayer and fasting empowers fulfillment of prophecies. And it's taken from where? First Timothy 1 verse 18. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, our memory verse is taken from the book of First Thessalonians 5 verse 17. Which says, Pray at all times. Yes. Pray at all times. Let's see one more time. Memory verse is taken from the book of what? First Thessalonians 5 verse 17. Are you writing? Okay. Which says, pray at all times. Amen. Well done. Well done. And our Bible text is taken from Mark 10, verses 46 to 51. I'll repeat that. Yeah. Our Bible text for today, or for the month, is taken from Mark 10, verses 46 to 51. You remember the story of blind Bartimaeus. Yeah, how he got the attention of Jesus for him to receive his sight. You remember that story? Good, well done. And then, our Bible characters for this month's teachings were, who can tell me? You're right, Jabez, yes, next. Jehoshaphat, woo! And who? Jesus! Come on, clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. I love that. Well done. And I hope we all remember their stories. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So let's move on to our revision for today. First, we learned about what prayer is. And we said, prayer is talking to Jesus and listening to what Jesus will say. Yeah. And you must also remember that Jesus loves little children and wants to bless them. That was taken from Mark chapter 10, verses 13 to 16. Are you writing? Yeah, I said Mark chapter 10, verses 13 to 16. Then we move to why why do we pray? 
and we said we pray for the following reasons. Did you remember? Don't worry, I will tell you. Jesus wants us to talk to him at all times. And the Bible reference is Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Am I too fast? Okay. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. We also said that we pray for things we need. We talk about our clothes. So things that make life comfortable for us. Like food. Our clothing. Shelter. We spoke about so many things. I would say the Bible reference is John chapter 16, verse 24. Yes, John chapter 16, verse 24. Then, lastly, we talked about how to pray. So how do we pray or how should we pray? First, we say we start and end every prayer with thanksgiving. And that was taken from Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. The next thing we spoke about, we said, talk to God, your heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And it was in John chapter 16, verse 23. So children, I believe you now have a better understanding of what prayer is, why we pray, and how to pray. Well done and God bless you. You are doing a good job. Wow. So, from our last week's activity, or homework, I would like one of you <laughs> to recite the Lord's prayers for us as we listen. Well done! And thank you very much for reciting our last prayer for us to learn today. Did you like that? So, children, remember to say it every morning when you wake up and before going to bed at night. Yes, our last prayer. It's our activity time, children. Now look, your activity is to draw your five praying fingers, five praying fingers, and write on each finger hmm, what it represents using the upcoming slides as a guide five okay thank you you're going to ask mommy and daddy or uncle or anybody that's around or any adults looking after you to take a picture of your activity and send a copy of your written five prayer fingers to us and your testimony i have a lot of testimony so if you have any you send to the email address that is displayed on your screen right now but i will call it for you okay and that is birmingham.childrenchurch at winners hyphen chapel.org UK. It's written there now. Okay? Also, remember to write your name. I want to know if it's you. 
your age, your location for us to be able to identify you. So if you are from Canada, say hello. If you are from Birmingham, from London, wherever. Well done and God bless you. Wow. <laughs> now it's time to say a prayer of salvation. So children, for Jesus to hear our prayers and answer them, you have to first become a child of God. Please sing along with me and then we we'll say the prayer after me. Okay? Let's sing this song together. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart. Lord Jesus, come in today, come in to stay, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, Amen. Please say after me, if you want to be born again, say, Lord Jesus, Come into my life. Wash me with your precious blood. I know that you died for me. Forgive me my sins. And write my name in the book of life now i know that i am born again so help me god amen amen congratulations to you if you said that prayer with me it means you are now a child of God. A big congratulations. Wow. Now we have come to the end of today's online service. So we remember what? Our good children, you remember to pray at all times. Some other version of the Bible will say, pray without ceasing. It means the same thing. Pray at all times. And please, stay safe, wash your hands regularly, follow hygiene rules at home and school, and maintain social distancing, okay? Oh, it's time to say our closing prayer now. And we are going to pray. Even for those that celebrated their birthdays. So, join your hands together as we pray. Father, I want to thank you for today. Thank you for reminding us why we pray. How we pray and what to do when we are praying. Just like blind Bartimaeus, oh God, as he was able to get your attention. Lord, thank you for teaching us your word. Teaching us how to pray in the Lord's Prayer. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we receive understanding of your word this day into our lives in the name of Jesus. We pray for all those that celebrated their birthdays in the month of January. Lord, we thank you for increased wisdom upon their lives. These ones are growing far above their equals in the name of Jesus. You are taking them on to greater heights in the name of Jesus. Lord, we appreciate you. We thank you because know that our week is blessed. Even as we enter into the month of February, oh God, it's going to be an established month for us in Jesus' name. Thank you, King of Glory. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. 
So I will say, surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you all. I'm Auntie Ese. I will see you next time again. Bye and have a lovely week.